In this lecture snippet, I'm going to use a tool called Magic Rescue to carve out information from both an image file as well as information from an actual hard drive partition. And so Magic Rescue is one of the tools that we have for carving. It is not installed by default on Ubuntu, but I can install it straight through the terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal and type in the command sudo apt-get install and then Magic Rescue. And I'll type in the administrative password to complete the installation. And as it's installing, what Magic Rescue uses is what they call recipes, which are basically configuration files that are designed to pull out magic bytes or specific bytes of information based on the type of recipe I want to use. Now that it's installed, I'll show you some of these options that we have. Man, Magic, Rescue. And I'll go ahead and go to the man page. And what we're going to need is we're going to need a couple different options that are mandatory. The dash D option is for the output directory. And we need that because we have to put basically all of our carved items into an output directory. It will not create the output directory on the fly. Or basically what we have to do is have the folder created ahead of time to be able to put the files in rather than it actually just creating the folder while the command is working. So I will need to have one. Now the other option that I want to use, and it is mandatory as well, is the dash R option, which is going to be for the different recipes. Now recipes, as I was talking about earlier, are basically these configuration files for looking for specific information to be able to pull it out. And they are located in Ubuntu, in the USR folder, the share, magic rescue, and then the recipe directories. And I'll show you where that's at so you guys can see a couple of the different recipes that are available by default with this installation of magic rescue on Ubuntu. I also am going to use the dash M. Now this is not a mandatory option. However, I want to use the dash M because I want to create a log file. So this is not mandatory. However, it produces some outputs that I can use to redirect to a text file. And that's what I'm going to do when I run this command. So I will be using the dash M. It's a capital M. And I'm going to be using the INO option to pro print both the input and the output files while I'm running this command. I'm going to do the Q to quit out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and expand this because I know that my commands are going to be quite long. So I want to be able to give you a large area here to see the whole command rather than it wrapping around in the terminal. So let's go ahead and look at these recipes. The recipes are located in the file system. And then I need to go to the USR folder. I'm going to go to the share folder. And then I'm going to look for Magic Rescue. So if I scroll down, I'll find Magic Rescue. And I'll open that up and I can see that there's a recipes directory that is full of different recipes. I want to point out that there are two different types for JPEGs. There's the EXIF, the EXIF, and then the JFIF, which are the two different options we've got for JPEG files, and it's going to use those. And I want to focus in on those as well as the PNGs for extracting information out, but you can see there are a couple different other options for extraction. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now let's go ahead and begin this command. What I want to do is I want to extract information from this flash drive. And so what I'll need to do is create an output folder. So I'm going to go ahead and say create new folder. I'll just call it output. And that's going to be for my output. So what I'll do is just go ahead and navigate over to the desktop because that's where all my items are currently located. And I don't have to worry about file paths. And let's go ahead and run this command. Magic Rescue. I'm going to use the dash R option for the recipe, and we'll use the JPEG. And I'm going to use that first one, the EXIF, and then we're going to go ahead and do another dash R. So every time we do a recipe, I have to have multiple dash R's for, for every single recipe that we have. So JPEG dash J F I F. I'll use another recipe for PNG. So I've got three different recipes there that I'm going to use. I need the dash D for the output directory and I called that one just output. And then I'm going to use the dash M, so I'm going to use the I and O for input and output. And then I'm going to go ahead now and actually type in the image that I want to actually carve stuff out of, which is the flash drive.img. This command alone will go ahead and do everything for me, but what I want to do is also create a log file. So I'm going to use the redirector symbol, the greater than symbol, so that I can actually have a log file. So I'm going to use the greater than symbol, and then just call it log. I'll just call it log and go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to run through the process of extracting all those JPEGs and the PNGs from my flash drive. And so you can see that it's currently running. I do have an output folder and I have a log that's being created while this command is being ran. And it's going to go ahead and log all the information that you'll see here onto one file. 
Okay, now we can see that it's finished. So let me go ahead and take a look at this log file that we have here. And the log file is, is what we'll see here basically is redirected. I have an I for the input, which was my flash drive.image, and then the O were all the outputs that I actually was able to extract out of there. I'm going to go ahead and close that. We can also look inside of this output folder to see the actual files, which are, happen to be all images, that have all been extracted out of that flash drive. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And that was using an image. You can also run the command to extract information out of a hard drive or a partition. So I'll create one more folder here. I'm going to call this one output2. And I'm going to use that as my basically the directory to put all the carved images in there. So I'll go ahead and run the command now. sudo will need to be done because it's going to be run on a device and I'm going to have to list them. So I'm just going to do an fdisk-l just to see which partition it is that I want to extract information out of. So I need to look at it and find out that I'm going to be using devsdb1 which is my Windows partition and I'm going to pull that information out of this hard drive onto my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead now and just do a clear just to clear the screen and let's go ahead and run the command sudo and we're going to run magic rescue dash r for my recipes and this time around I'm just going to do the jpeg uh, exifs I'm going to also use the dash d for my output directory which is going to be output 2 and then I'm going to use the dash m so that I can do the input and output for my redirector and then I'm going to go ahead now and type in the forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 that's the partition I want to extract information out of and I'm going to go ahead and redirect this to a new file called log2 I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and you can see it's going to begin the process of actually extracting that information to that output2 folder and it has created and I'm going to move that over there so you can see that a log2 file for all my output and I can see that I'm back to the terminal prompt and so I can see the information here I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and take a look at the I have an output to folder that I've opened up right here and you can see that they're locked all up and so what I need to do is actually change the permissions so that they're unlocked for me to actually be able to do anything with these files so what I'll need to do is go back to the terminal and I'm going to go ahead and do sudo chmod dash capital R for recursive 777 and then that output to directory and that'll go through that entire directory and change those permissions I'm going to go ahead and close that and you can see now that the locks have been removed from this and so here are my output files so I'm going to go ahead and close that and I have my output log so this concludes Magic Rescue on Ubuntu